Hello, welcome back to Simply Exploring and Adventuring with Lewis. Today I'm back in Middletown, PA. And I'm here at the Swatara Ferry House. Now I was once here before, and I'll explain what this other building is beside here, because it's I didn't find out this until the last time when I was here with my daughter and this is the Liberty Band Hall. It was a former church moved over here from Oberlin, PA to basically save it. And um, I was fortunate enough to talk to two of the historical society members that are in the building right now and I had shot some footage inside, but the, uh, one of the trustees was in here with the, the gentleman that was here as well. And unfortunately, um, she told me not, I couldn't use the actual footage because they have, they don't want any exposure of the interior of the building right now. We're allowed to do any exterior shots we want to, as much as we want to. And they're getting ready to do an auction on May 6th here of several uh, historical items inside. Uh, several that I got to view, including uh, many, a uh, few pots, belly stoves that were made right here in Middletown, Pennsylvania. And I'm just going to go around the building. And I will go to the ferry house in a moment but um, I was fortunate enough to go inside and look inside but unfortunately like I said they asked me not to reveal any of any any photographs I wasn't allowed to video any photograph well I had already originally had done it already but um, the, the woman but they were also uh, kind enough to give me some literature from the uh, fairy house. So I'm gonna... Go, I'm walking around, sorry. <laughs> sorry for the, the um, trees there, which are pretty cool there, but... Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to just go right by as I'm going down the building. Um, like I said, they asked me not to photograph the inside or anything, so I'm trying to pan away so you can't see what's really inside the building. But it was neat to look around and see the uh, the uh, items that were in there. And like I said, I had the footage, but I discarded it in, on, in to honor their requests. So again, here's the stone that says, has both information on both buildings. And the gentleman told me that this was at one time a fort as well as a home before it became a ferry house. Um, so he mentioned that there was, and I probably have that information right here with me, um, which I will probably put on the video at some point of the actual ferry house you know they gave me a uh, literature about the, this ferry house as well as the the band hall and they also referred me to the actual historical society which is open right now till noon so I'm gonna try to make this pretty quick here and I had shot a lot more footage when I was here with my daughter but I had already created the video for this and I was gonna upload it but for some reason I ended up with a corrupt video file uh, somehow and I couldn't use the actual footage and it wouldn't let me upload it the way it was um, so we're going up the steps here. Um, there's a lot of flying 
insects activities and I'm going up the porch here and I will go underneath too as well to show you so this is a kind of a view from the porch here I don't think this is gonna be a very long video like I said the other one I had it up to about 20 minutes but this one's probably gonna be closer to 10 which is still good for me yeah, I'm walking the uh, and I'll see what information this has about okay So the deeds date prior to 1827. It says, it said, so they believe this building was here before 1812 as well. And like I said, I'm going to get more into the information of this um, Of this building as well as the barn hall they, she said they do have a separate um, they have a separate um, brochure for that so I'm just a lot of bumblebees here so and this was basically the same view but I had my phone in the portrait mode not landscape mode I'm gonna give you a shot from here I also gotta want to take some photographs to include this in this little brief tour here and like I said when I when I'm done on I edit out Add that information in here oh man it was a shame because the gentleman had n had no idea that I wasn't allowed to uh, photograph or video in there at the moment at the time sorry <laughs> lost my finger my hand on the grip there at the time um, he openly allow me to hey no problem but then because of the fact that the auction and then because she's also a um a board member as well you know felt in the best interest of protecting the building and you know not having people too many people know what's in in the building you know all the what the interior of it looks like but um, they are planning on. Oh, I forgot they have pictures from the other side. So I have to walk back around. So I'll pause. So I guess I'll bid you adieu from here, from the Sotara Ferry House and the uh, Band Hall, too, here. And. We'll be probably heading over to the historical society, um, see what's there and whatnot. Uh, I may, may or may not connect this to the other one at some point, um, but be on the lookout for this. And if you're in the area, come and look around in the property. Like I said, you can't really go in the building, um, but you can at least look around the building. And the there is a historical area downtown to visit to. I'm planning to go there shortly so uh, join me there on the next one or if not I will see you on the next video and continuing our tour in the Middletown area we're at the Middletown area historical society of Dauphin County Museum 
the gentleman, the lady alluded to this place and there is mass required as well as social distancing. Um, so I'm hoping they don't say nothing about the videoing or not. So I'll find out first. So I have to pause this first. Uh, let's enter together and see what they have. Well, I forgot to grab my selfie stick, so I'm just gonna do it freehand here. Sorry. <laughs> um, I am walking around downtown. Middle town, I guess. And I'm gonna flip you around so that you can see some of the stuff I'm yeah. seeing. I'm like right on the sidewalk here. I'm not sure if yep, I'm one X, okay. And look at some of these old uh, Victorian buildings. This one looks like they're Scraped the whole front of it to repaint it, I'm sure. And what you're hearing is the bell tower from that church. And there's lots of uh, historical. I'm just going to go up to this corner here of the church and that must be there oh it's called the Metzger house beautiful I love the different architecture in the, in the building and I have to return back to my car because I think I might have left the window open and my gear is inside there so like I said I'm gonna to get pictures of these some of these buildings so right here by the uh, church here st peter's lutheran church and as you can see it was founded in 1752 so it's the oldest church here in from what i understand in dauphin county because we are in dauphin county and i had seen a a sign up ahead, I think it's probably on the other side here of, on Spring Street. That it has a German name. I think it was right here that I noticed the sign. Nope, it's the Amtrak one. But, I think we are on Main Street here. Yeah, this is Main Street. And I'm going a little further than I expected to go. Because I was looking for that sign that it says... Do you hear Kirch? Something like that. And again, look at some of the architecture here. Some of the beautiful scroll work above there on the porch there. They have a lot of old ladies here, beautiful old ladies as I call them. Nope, that ain't it. And of course I could have the wrong church as well too. Now I'm only walking a little bit because their downtown area is not very long, big. But I wanted to get some video here and eventually 
Oh, if I see that sign now. Beautiful, look at the ginger, beautiful gingerbread right up there on the building. It's a funeral home, but it's beautifully architectured. Look at that, it's beautiful architecture up there. All the detail up there on the top of above the windows. Gentlemen keep kept looking at me weird. I'm just video your town. Ow. It's a little windy and stuff is getting. Look at the beautiful scroll work up here that I was telling you about earlier. Look at that. Some beautiful scroll work. They don't make that stuff anymore. I mean, you can get reproductions anymore, but it's not the same. I mean, I know if you have to do it to replace something. Um, trying to hold this steady as I can. Beautiful, simple columns. Oh man. It's a shame that this one hasn't had a lot of upkeep, but it would have been a beautiful, it's a beautiful building still. Beautiful porch. And unfortunately stuff is getting, blowing into my eyes. Now there is a more historical area where I'm going to head to next at some point. I've got to get back home to get some rest for work tonight still. And yes, I'm still healing, <laughs> but I'm able to do a little bit more walking trying to limit how much walking I'm doing beyond work see again beautiful gingerbread up there Great use and repurpose for this building. It's an actual, uh, it's on the National Reg Register of Historic Places as well. It's Alfred's Victorian Restaurant. And this one kind of intrigued me, but it looks like they turned it into apartments or something. But beautiful. Love the stonework there. Beautiful stonework. And this, like I said, may or may not be the square. It's gotten a little windy. I hope it, the wind ain't bothering too much. But as I was driving by through Main Street here, I happened to see a sign for this. It says DMNH, which is 
Middletown Hummeltown Railroad. So if you're in the Middletown area, you can. I'm not sure if they're open right now for tours or anything like that. I would have to investigate. But there's also uh, street cars here, as you see, trolley cars as well. They have a coll small collection of when they're from their trolleys when they ran through here, I believe. And I do hear a train in the distance. Ah, it's the Amtrak, I believe. The Amtrak train is coming, the station is not too far from here. Um, so, you know, these trains. Again, this is, we're right in Middletown, Pennsylvania. It's located right here next to this Middletown Lumber. I don't recall the name of the street. But there's a Daisy Street door and over. Not sure what kind of it's an Alco S6 it says right there. Looks like a diesel. Now I'm not big on the on the railroad stuff yet. And as we can see right over there. Not the clearest, but. We are at the Middletown, Hummeltown Railroad. And again, like I said, I'm not sure how you get in here. There's a train car there. And as you can see, the actual rails run through here and, and through town. Um, I think it joins up over there with the where the um, Amtrak train goes to. Doesn't seem like it's open right now, but I could be wrong. But I'm gonna do a, I guess, an outside tour of the Middletown and Hummelstown railroad station. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's open or anything right now. I'm just gonna walk around and see what happens. Hopefully, I don't think I'm trespassing. I don't believe so. But it looks like it might have served Maryland because it has MD. Oh, Middletown. I forgot. It's the short abbreviation for Middletown. And we're just going to walk up here on the platform here and just go around the whole building. I'll eventually do a round about... see lights inside but I don't see anyone there oh it's not it's not currently opening right now it might be a uh, open on the weekends because I know some places are like that they open only on the weekends um, uh, I'm not sure if the tickets are to do any kind of riding around here I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit more um, or is it just an admission price to come and view the whole entire um, facility. And as you can see, there's busy little, 
Oh, wow. Now it looks like it has a, a partly a race schedule here of, there seems to be some kind of train tour that probably goes up and down these tracks or somewhere. And like I said, I'm gonna find out more about this when I get home or whatever and have some time to investigate a little bit more. There's an old SEPTA train and, the, and a Pennsylvania Railroad car. I'm by no means any kind of train expert here, but now that I'm closer, I'll get a better photo of the Middletown, Hummeltown Railroad. Milk, the milk and honey line. <laughs> this might be a maintenance and repair shark, shack. I'm going to see how far I can get on this side looking at this stuff. Winewood Road. Uh, there's the SEPTA cars, and there's more cars over that way, so I'm going to go around. I really don't want to, I can fit through there, but I don't want to squeeze through there, but ain't that awesome, look at that, isn't that awesome, look at that. Railroad related. Um, curtain, sorry. Lost my train of thought again. Now it looks like you can go up on certain trains and look and go into the uh, compartments, probably. Probably can go up through that side as well as this side of the actual diesel. I just saw that sign. Um, I'm assuming they're talking about the the rails here. You gotta look at these old. Probably cars or street cars, some people will call them as well. That loud roaring noise you hear in the background is the airplanes taking off from Harrisburg International Airport, which is right nearby. <laughs> it's actually not too far from here because it's here in Middletown. And like I said, um, I know that looks like a coal car right there. Just from looking at other, other, other folks. Um, videos as well. And I couldn't see these from the back there, but cool. I'm glad I'm... A lot of trucks parked there. I don't know if they're for spare parts or something. All rail cars, train cars. And that one is from the Central Railroad Company of New Jersey. And cool, they have their some of their stuff here too. And they have other stuff 
on the other side that looks like it's in desperate need of repair it looks like and they're storing on that side but like I said I'm not gonna venture too far just wanted to get a quick look at this station and railroad now I see the the train tracks continue through here and they cross through this street here and I'm not sure if they might if they if, tickets to me can mean that they do like uh, uh, train rides because they had a schedule over there that they it's mostly a race but you can see the remnants of the of the um, times for the arrivals and the departures uh, here's the sign for it so I don't know if This is, oh, okay. MHR is close to the public, 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. So I am, they do do scenic rides, okay. So that's what that was about. I wasn't sure, but sure, there's the uh, confirmation that the tickets they're talking about is probably one of these trains here. I'm sure it's probably this one right there. Or even one of those over there will probably switch over and come back here. And I'm assuming it takes you down that way because these tracks join. And as I was mentioning, there's Mill Street is crossing here by the entrance. And I'm trying to see what's the name of this street. And there's uh, Hoffer Park is right nearby. So there you get a view over there. So, another thing I'm going to have to come and look into it. And uh, once that I get the actual address, I will post it. But I'm not sure if you come in through here and then park somewhere near the actual station itself, the actual train station. Sorry for my poor camera work here, holding this thing down a little bit more than I wanted to. But it is technically open to the public right now till 6 p.m. And then after 6 p.m., you cannot be on this property, you'll be trespassing. That's good to see some of their, I'm not sure if those are original lines, but they look like some sort of diesels, because it says fuel fill. So they are diesels. I'm not sure what model number they are or anything like that. Like I said, I'm not a train guy. I'm learning from seeing other people's videos and uh, trying to figure out what's what and stuff so you'll excuse me if I don't have that much train knowledge but at least I know what some of these things are like the old trolley cars and the trolley or street cars as they were referred to and they have a Set of stone steps and what looks like to be a, um, some kind of a platform there so I don't know if they're gonna be putting that somewhere else at some point to be able to get onto the trains or something and wow cool that one says Gettysburg that's another destination I want to go to. I haven't been there since my eldest daughter was about a year and a half, two years old. 
and I know a lot has changed since then. And there's the, I've, I have, the, I know the name of the thing, it's what it's called, but I can't, the pan, panto, I guess it would be, it would normally be a pantogram that, a pantograph, whatever, one of them two, not whatever, but one of those two, the pantogram or pantograph that raises up and touches the, uh, the uh, electrical lines. But like I said, I don't see, and that looks like a, like an old water, watering, to put water into the, into the steamers when they were here. Walking back toward the uh, M and H Railroad station here, and like I said, they do scenic tours, but I have to find out more information um, to post on here if they are in operation or if it might be just a weekend thing. A, a lot of times, especially with COVID going on, especially with COVID going on, um, how they'll limit, you know, how many people obviously can get on these trains as well as, um, obviously, you know, you might have to wear face coverings and stuff. Uh, looks like they probably used to have some type of information here, but I'm gonna see what can look into the uh, the gift shop here. See what they have. And they have a couple of train sets here. There's your ticket window over there. It doesn't have any kind of time. Also related to the railroad because it has the same yes yeah, as M and H over there, so it's probably a temporary building for something. I'm right. Let's see that they are going to be installing some type of platform. Well, they had them and they had to take them down for a reason. But over there, you can get shots of this. I'm trying to see if we can. Sneak peek through here. Oh my goodness. Oh, groundhog. Look at that bat. Look at that fat boy. He's gonna hide in there. Obviously, these are in pretty bad shape. I'm not sure what, uh, and the kitty cat. <laughs> I'm not sure what their uh, future plans of restoration work for this is. And continuing our tour of Middletown, we are at St. Peter's Kirch, which is a lot of times that I believe that's Pennsylvania Dutch sometimes, which would be St. Peter's Church. So, and then there's this monument here. I'm just gonna walk by it. And it has 
us some information. And again, it's listed on the uh, Seventeen sixty seven. I'm gonna is the uh, graveyard. That's what this is what differentiates this from a cemetery. For those of you who are not aware of the steeple in a nice beautiful day it's supposed to get about into the mid 80s today there's some of the old uh, now, I'm not sure if we're allowed to visit inside. Sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. I'm not going to take the risk today and although I'm sure they probably won't say nothing as long as you're respectful. And there's again there's St. Peter's St. Peter's Kirch. I'm sure that's how they would probably pronounce it. And I am still trying to go around, find the more historic interesting. So, George Fisher, the founder of Middletown. One grain of wheat. <laughs> they were pretty much that's what, that was the price for the land, I'm sure, to build this church. And I am um, there's 230 is the one that's crossing over. That's Main Street. And get a better look at it from across the street. Well, I'm parked. I'm at the uh, Sunset Park Golf Course up here. Uh, I think I'm still in Royalton, but I could be closer to Falmouth, the Falmouth area. And I was watching this military jet doing touch and goes over there at HIA. That is, that right there is the runway for Harrisburg International Airport and I lost track of him there he is see if he comes around again as I was drive as I was driving up up here to the uh, parking area of the golf course there's a golf course on the part of this here as well as a public park I think he's just practicing touch and goes. It's a military transport plane, which I'm surprised because I know H, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Capital City Airport, it's further up that way. And that's where I know the National Guard base is. There's also jets, smaller commuter jets, landing there. And I'm following the uh, 
following the jet up there. Ow. Oh. Lifted my foot the wrong way. Not exactly the clearest day, but it's a lot clearer than I thought it would be. And I see his tail, and he's coming right over here. Should be probably coming right over us somewhere. And there he is, he's making his bank turn. And there he comes. a New York designation. So he's New York Air National Guard, I bet. And we get to see him finally touch and go. Well, unless he decides to land, let's see. We'll see what he does. Didn't realize that the airport um, runway is right there next to the Susquehanna itself. And I can't tell if he's actually landing or if yep, no. Nope. I see the the I've seen the brakes turn on. So and let's see if he lifts back off again. Sounds like he's powering up again, yep. He's going to take off again, it looks like. And there he goes. And he's going around for another round. Now I'm at the uh, Canal Lock Boat Launch Recreation Area. It's right off the Susquehanna here. And I believe we're still right outside of Royalton. Um, right between Royalton and Falmouth and I pulled in because I saw this boat launch parking area and lo and behold I found this found this This is a remnant of the uh, Pennsylvania Canal. Uh, it's only a little, like a little trickle here going there. Can't imagine how, but this might have been much wider at one time. But look at what, what you find when you're not even looking for things. But I did see a sign um, when the general. Unfortunately, I was up when I was up at the Middletown Historical Society. I wasn't able to film anything inside um, or take any photos. They preferred that we didn't. But um, I saw on the uh, map of the town from back in the day. I forgot what year it was specifically. It showed that the Pennsylvania Canal doesn't actually join up with the Union Canal but it was close by from there um, I was looking for Canal Street but I didn't pay attention too much over there when I was in uh, in Middletown so I was gonna try to find Canal Street to find where the Union Canal Basin is over there and I will be doing that in a future video when I'm heading back over here again because it's getting later for me. I have to get some rest. But here is one of the locks here. And it has a little area where you can walk. And I know I started this video in one in uh, portrait mode and switched back over to landscape because I wanted to get up. There's this nice little bridge and looky there look at what I see over there that looks 
explorable. <laughs> Charlie just goes over to the other side of that house. And even though it's not in super bad shape, it's nice that they have it cordoned off here and get a top side view. Now, I'm not sure if there are any further canals up that way, which I probably don't believe there are any because I think they said Middletown, if either, it's either here or Harrisburg, but I believe they said that this might have been the terminus, the northernmost terminus on this side of the Susquehanna River here along uh, 441 here, Route 441. And like I said, I'm just down, no, actually um, Three Mile Island is just right up the, right up the road here. And again, I hear that that military transport. And like I said, this is 441. I believe the, uh, this might be the, the line where, this is, e this is either, Norfolk Southern train tracks, if I'm correct, they, they follow there. And then there was another set of train tracks that I just saw not too far from here where um, Amtrak runs near here too. So I'm going to go back down, get another look at it again. And there's our mighty Susquehanna River unnavigable other than smaller pleasure boats and stuff like that private small boats kayak canoeing if if you dare and I will be departing from here snap a photo here here of the sign and then I'm gonna drive over because there's another there's a sign I'm sure it has something to do with boating safety and stuff like that along the inside of the parking area here it's just a big giant parking lot not sure if that last video was still running and right next to that big sign right there for the canal lock recreation area is this other sign here for eels because apparently the word swatara is a Native American word for where we feed on eels. I did not know that. This is something new to me as well. If you want to pause and read it, you may do so. And again, this might be my second intro and outro, but this is probably going to be my final outro. I am heading home now. I'm tired. I need to get some rest and I got to work tonight. So I'm going to bid you adieu from 
the Haldeman Mansion, which is under repairs and stuff, restoration work, um, a preservation trust. I saw a sign. Um, there's someone inside right now currently working in there. So, again, I want to thank you for coming along. This is going to seem choppy with all these little bits and pieces. And I know this is not so much related to Middletown, but it was kind of like on my trip uh, on my way home. So I figured I would include it along with the other stuff that I filmed before um, at the canal locks and all that. Because it's kind of, I mean, it correlates with each other, you know, the, how historic a lot of these towns are. And the history we're letting slip past us, thankfully, it's not going to happen to this. They are, it's currently under repair and being restored. So hopefully in a future episode, we'll be able to go inside and see what it's like inside and get that true tour. Till, till then, I'll see you on the next one. And remember, go create your own adventure. <laughs>